Hello, my name is Angela from Angela Simpson Functional Medicine Physiotherapy. And today I'd like to talk to you about hormone imbalances and how they can affect your mood. And I see so many women in my practice that are dealing with this. I ask them how their cycles are. It's a common question I ask when I'm reviewing symptoms and just lifestyle factors. And females often say to me in the back half of their cycle, the last two weeks, it's almost like there's a switch that turns off in their brain. Um, and it's instead of being happy, they're feeling agitated, irritated, and moody. And they feel like there isn't much that they can do to adjust for it, except just wait for that period to end until the period resets again and they have a change to their mood. And the reality is, is if you are dealing with this on an ongoing monthly basis, it probably is affecting several aspects of your life. You're probably noticing that it's affecting your relationships. It's probably affecting your intimacy with your partner. It's probably affecting your relationship with your children if you have them still and they're at home. Um, and you might also be noticing it's even affecting your relationships at work and your ability to interact and get your job done if you're always uh, you know, in a bad mood or you're agitated and you're just not feeling well. And sometimes this is a sign that there are some systems out of balance in your body. Um, definitely the hormonal system, if it is happening um, on a consistent cyclic basis like this, often the hormonal system is out of balance, but often it is an indicator that there are other systems out of balance as well. Mood definitely is um, somewhat related to our hormonal system for sure, but it also is related to um, the production levels of neurotransmitters, um, which actually are produced in our gut that allow us to feel good in our brain. They help us to feel calm, to feel regulated, to feel motivated. And so sometimes if we are having mood changes, even if they are cyclical, um, it also does have to do with your gut health and how well you are functioning in that category. And the reality is, is if you are having these these shifts happen all the time, it also can be a sign and it can potentially lead to other health issues down the road. So if you don't get on top of these hormone imbalances that are causing these mood issues, um, you know, potentially if you go into menopause with, the, with these hormones being out of balance, um, it actually can lead to some other um, potential diseases, um, can even lead to things such as cancers, especially the female cancers. Sometimes when the hormones are out of balance like this, it is more common that the progesterone levels are too low relative to your estrogen levels. And sometimes this actually can be called uh, estrogen dominance. And so if you do go through menopause um, in this estrogen dominant state, um, not only will you probably be quite symptomatic with menopause, not only with mood changes, uh, but other changes as well, um, you are more at risk definitely for certain female cancers. And so it is really important to get on top of this now, even if moods are your only symptom at this point, you really want to make sure that you don't end up having other issues down the road because you haven't dealt with this. As well, often it's really important if there is some issues with the gut um, to deal with this and rebalance this. Um, again, otherwise it can also potentially lead to some other issues down the road. Often if the gut isn't functioning well to produce those neurotransmitters that help your brain feel balanced and well, it is a sign that there is some inflammation in the gut and often there is also some imbalances in your immune system, which actually can put you at risk for a host of other conditions, including autoimmune diseases, if your immune system isn't functioning properly and there is inflammation levels that are too high in the system. And so if you do want to learn more about this, if you want to understand why you're having these mood issues, why it's turning up every time that you are in that cycle in the back half of the month, and you're hoping that you can do something about it to help both yourself, your relationships with others, and prevent disease in the future, please let me know. I'm happy to talk to you about this on a free 45-minute consult, and you can reach me at my website, www.angelasimpsonfunctionalmedicine.ca. Thanks for watching.